There you are. <laughs> Hola, video bloggers. Come and stop stay. Me, bien, bien, gracias. I just came back from. I j I'm just leaving the doctor's actually right now, and um, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> um, so today, um, well, you know, let me start the vlog actually after I get out of the fucking uh, parking garage. Adios, arrivederci, ciao, dos vedania, chus. Sayonara. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna head back home actually then. Uh, Cause I was actually, I was calling a couple of different places. I was looking for a tortilla press. I figured Whole Foods would have one, you know what I mean? But nope, nope, not a chance. And then uh, Walmart also uh, shows one on their website, but they don't got none in store. So I'm just gonna have to Amazon that shit. Cause um, I just got my, um, uh, my 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 bank statement and that shit said that I spent sixty two dollars at my favorite Mexican restaurant Taqueria El Ranchero. I was like sixty two dollars. I'm like yeah, the food's freaking good as hell, man. It's really wicked good. So I'm trying to get my own tortilla press and yeah. So that way I can make my own food at home. Have to, I mean, I mean, I still want to go out and uh, you know go over there every once in a while, but I don't want to spend too much money. Whippa! So today, I want to talk about some things that might possibly piss you off, but that's what I do because I piss myself off in the same time because I'm trying to, I'm grasping for things, you know, for for. Uh, more deeper, more connected meaning to what is what. So, in today's vlog, I want to talk about three words that we say all the time. And sometimes, just like a lot of words, we say them so frequently and we use them with so many other things that we lose the very definition of where they came from. And today, these three words I'm going to be talking about are hope, wish, and prayers. My dude, you better fucking not. Now, I mean, I say hope all the time. What's up, video bloggers? I hope everyone out there is doing good because I do. You know, I want you all to be doing really good. Okay? But, like, hope. Like, let's kind of dissect hope for a second, yeah? Because, like, I kind of pissed off Zylitas with this because I was, like, thinking on this and I was like, you know, you know, both she and I get migraines and I said well I hope your migraine goes away soon and I started thinking to myself like why why hope like why is that our only word in conveying our well wishes onto our friends our family but that's another word right there wishes right there so those two kind of like intersect and so and I just started th like hope I hope you have a good day. Things like that. It's an empty uh, gesture. You know what I mean? It's a sweet gesture, yeah? But it's still very, very empty, you know? To me, this has been something that I've been challenging my whole life. Is these words and the meanings of words. And why they mean what they mean. And But at the same time, they're not universal for everyone. Just like the word normal. Oh my god, I had this... Ugh, going on with the word normal. It's like, you know, act normal, or um, my blood pressure isn't normal, or, or something like that, you know what I mean? Porque normal? And so, like, when I was uh, looking up some Spanish words, because I forgot them, uh, I looked up the word for hope, you know? How to translate hope from English to Spanish. And it's such a beautiful word, it is espero. And when I hear espero, what I think of is inspire so like I was like wow that's you know that that's like wicked beautiful you know and so I was thinking maybe a more beautiful way of saying I hope 
instead of putting like an empty into it, is to say, I inspire you to have a good day. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like, wow, like, you know, that kind of just blew my mind. Like, yeah, that's, you know, I, I, I inspire you to feel better because my hope for you to have a good day isn't going to do shit, right? But if I say I inspire you, that means it's, it's like you got somebody backing you up that believes in you, you know, that, that, that is saying, you know what, maybe the first two hours of your work day didn't go well, but I inspire you to have a better day. And then, again, the same thing like with Espero, I had to look up what wish is, and wish is the sale, which is like desire, okay? But on a different way, because when you hear desire, desire is like want, and want is really not that much of a good thing, at least not in my book, okay? But at the same time, my, you know, you know I'm the only one that reads out of my book, right? So, like, I desire you to have good things, but it's almost the same thing like Espero. I inspire you to have good things, you know what I mean? Not materialistic things, but happy days, happy moments, you know? Uh, a text or a call from your, uh, from, from your honey, and you know, just to say, hey babe, I just want to let you know the whole time I was in traffic today, I was thinking about you and how much you make me happy and how much I want to make you happy and I want to devise little surprises for you because you mean so much to me. So like that, you know what I mean? Espero, deseo. The third word is prayers or um... Oración or oraciones. Now when I hear oración, I hear the word orate. Okay? To speak, which is what a prayer is. You know, it's, 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 it's to speak or maybe not to speak, but to speak with the mind, to speak with the heart. And like, you know, you get a lot of these people, <laughs> heavy, heavy as I roll there. You get these people on like uh, Facebook and stuff like that who are like uh, so and so is in the hospital and like you know they need to uh, go through a lot of uh, surgery and uh, physical therapy and but you know I just know he's gonna pull through I inspire him or her to pull through yeah And you get these people, there it is again. You get these people who say, sending prayers. Okay, prayers? What are you talking about? How do you send a prayer? What do you lick a virtual freaking envelope and you just send it off mwah, mwah, like that? So, you know, it's like sending prayers. Like, are you really sending prayers? Now, you know, I don't mean to knock people, okay? But like, everybody does it now. And it was never, never was like that before, ever. Like sending prayers only because the freaking uh, social media. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry you're having a toothache. Sending prayers. What does that bump up your social media status? That you're sending prayers. I don't understand, man. Now you gotta remember, I was born in freaking 1970, okay? So I was born before all of this social media and the shit. I'm always thinking on things like that. It's like, I, I mean, because I say it sometimes, like, when somebody speeds past and they're going like 20 over the speed limit, and I hope they get caught. Isn't that like a bad wish on somebody though? I inspire you to get caught? It doesn't work that way. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of ranting, you know, I'm, um, well, I'm, I'm ranting to understand, you know, it's like when you keep it inside, it's like it's hard for you to really know how you're feeling unless you get it out of here. Because like I said, the, the language of the mind and the language of the heart, there is no way to properly translate those words. And when the two of them come out through this, it doesn't properly translate the essence, the meaning, you know?
the intention. So that's what I got to say. I think I just will continue to think on things like this in my life because that's that's how I've been, man. Just always thinking. I thank you all so very much for watching. I appreciate all of the likes, the shares, the subscriptions, the comments, the interactions, the Patreon pledges, all of it. I'm hungry. I want to go eat a taqueria. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it's a nice day to go to go walking, too. Anyways. Will I go to Takaria? Oh, I guess we'll just have to stay to the end of the episode, yeah? <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching. Take care, much love. Shit that was me, Till I see you all again. Don't and go high in. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Sending prayers. Don't and go high. Bitch, good out, my babies. I should learn myself sometimes, boy. Hey, guess what? I'm back. I just thought of something that I thought of when I was in traffic this morning. It's like, okay, like, look, the word pothole. Okay, we know what a pothole is. Yeah, it's a, it's a hole in the road. And you kind of think, like, why did they start calling it a pothole? Because somebody probably described it when someone asked, well, how large is the hole? They, you know, back in the old days, when they you know, first started making roads, you know, they said, oh, it's about the size of a pot. Okay. Like, are we talking a saucepan or are we talking a pot? No, it's a pot. However, there are holes that are larger than a pothole. Like, some holes are as big as vats, but you never hear somebody call it a vat hole. And then when you hear the word sinkhole, it's fucking way mass. It's like way more bigger than a freaking sink could be, man. A sinkhole. Shit, you could throw a million sinks down that freaking sinkhole. You know what I'm saying? I, I just thought, I just thought something. <laughs> because the English language does not make any sense. There was a comedian back in the 80s to the early 90s. She started out in the 70s. Uh, Gallagher, hilarious. Love to do. Big, big thinker. And Gallagher talked a lot about the English language and how it does not make sense. And how the English language essentially is set up to make everybody who speaks it fail. Why do they call them cowboys? Cows is girls, bulls is boys. Ought to be cow girls and bull boys. Why do they call a statue a bust when it stops right before the part it'd be named after? Why do they call them buildings when they're already done building them? Ought to call them built. Why do they call it a TV set when you only get one? And why do they call a woman's prison a penal colony? This is gonna be hard. I'd ask my dad signs on the roadside. What does that say, Dad? He'd say, good food. I'd say, why? They both end in O-O-D. Those words ought to rhyme. It ought to be good food. <laughs> or good food. Why is it good food? See, it doesn't matter. Why should I be serious about the language if the language isn't serious enough to make sense? Right, gang? I don't like to just accept things for what they are. I want to... I want to pierce this skin of reality and get to the guts to the bile <laughs> anyways yeah frills I'm gonna be gone this time ciao and this is my favorite meal to get over here at Taqueria El Ranchero uh, it is uh, sopes and it's a sopes with the meat which is um, al pastor which is a um, it's a marinated uh, pork meat yeah, it's really good and oh my god, it, it's so good. I can't wait to dive in and then they also make their own tortillas in-house and all their own salsas, their own pico de gallo, all of the different toppings and, and whatnot. And I also had to get myself churros. Got to! And then on top of the churros, I also got 
my favorite, the tamarind jarritos. Oh my God. I gotta tell you something real quick. I've been so fortunate to the Mexican culture and to the language uh, to have it in my life, uh, in my early life. You know, I, I was always around the Spanish language when I was younger. You know, with the whole thing with my concussion and everything, it's like, you know, learning and remembering actually is really, really hard now because I have a tendency to forget things. But when, as I'm relearning the Spanish language all over again, it's, it's kind of like my saving grace for my memory because it's making me remember because I'm putting it in my path every single day, you know, to, to speak a little bit more every day, you know, to engage with people like over here, the, the cooks and the people over here at Taqueria. And, uh, and so it's real good. And uh, that's all I have to say. Gracias.